All right, let's start it up. We are back in another game of Deceive Inc. We're playing Octo here today. Decided to break out the weapon three here. I know if you watched the patch notes video, you I kind of gushed about the weapon two buff, but I really uh, wanted to try the weapon three first. So we're doing this one, uh, but we will see the weapon two soon, most likely. Um, yeah, that was a null NPC drawer close, I think. I am hearing a key card, and I would like to go get it. That's actually might be big, because we can get in that door next to us now. Um, let's just get all this with the spyglass, and I can't reach half of it. Are you opening that? It doesn't say in use. I kind of opened that because I hoped someone was watching and then would shoot that NPC, but nobody was. So, Weapon 3 here did get a pretty big buff in the form of the Intel per shot on your Intel shot. <laughs> um, goes, or went down from 3 to 2, which is a big deal. I know, like, 3 to 2 is only a difference of 1, but, like, it's kind of a big deal. And the easiest way to, like, show that is, um, well, when you have 10 Intel, which is most agents' maximum without a chip, if it's three intel per shot, you can fire at oh, most three times. Oh. At most three times. So and uh, if you if it's only two per shot, you can fire five times, which is an addition of two, right? Like that's a that's an extra two shots. <laughs> um so kind of a big deal. Obviously we're playing Octo, so the numbers are a little more in our favor than that. I'm gonna have to take this VIP disguise to get in there, aren't I? Uh, I'm not going to. I accidentally took this staff one, which was not good. Mm. Okay. Time to throw people out. She wasn't even coming to scold me. She just, like, had leaving on the brain. I need one intel, but that should be too hard. Are you a player? Oh, I no. smell a jackpot! I'll call you. All right, there we go. So, let's do some damage numbers. The uh, hip fire on this isn't overly great. Um, so, the, the body shots deal 6 and the head shots deal uh, 8. So, it's it's really not great on that. Um, but the sniper shots do quite well with the... Uh, with the um, body shots doing 34 and the head shots... Oh, there's not enough. I got this one, right? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Um, and the headshot's doing 60, so kind of, you know, a lot. Oh, nice. Okay, good. We did we did manage to get the 8. The problem with this is as soon as we spend 8, we got nothing. So if someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. Um, so, um, yeah, so we can do some good damage for sure. We, we're actually okay. I mean, we would like to get be able to get the package. Um... We do have hack speed. So we're kind of running away from stuff because I want intel, but there's no intel down here. This green room never has intel, but maybe this time. Eh, it's got four. I'm just trying to get intel so that I can, you know, use a printer once we get there. Also, this ink we're using is the first, the one you get for level one of the current event. So... Not bad there. Can we get this while we're moving towards it? Nah, the railing screws it up. It's pretty expected, though. The railings in this game are very strange <laughs> with the way their hitboxes are, so the fact that they screwed up isn't at all surprising to me. Is that a red dot? Am I crazy? No, it's just a red light. thought it was a hollow thing. I'm going to continue to try to get intel as we go, because we're Octo, and we are going to need that in a fight. Um... Yep. And this and this. We're going pretty slow here, actually. All things considered. Uh, this is going to waste one, but... Having a lot of intel is probably good. Um, no one seems to have cared that I just did that. Printers down here doesn't seem to be on, so let's figure that ourselves and get even more intel 
I guess we had a key card. We could have looked in the purple rooms like I like to do sometimes. Given this is Silver Reef, I mean, this has kind of been a quiet match no matter what, but given it's Silver Reef. Um. This trace is lasting a while. I live for this stuff. I kind of want that key code. Keep your eyes peeled. I did pay for it. Going all in. That's just a sus NPC. All right, they might have turned the sus up too much on some NPCs. If I didn't have my goggles vision, I would have shot that Doug for sure. Um, let's see if we can turn that off. All right, gotta get the gold, gotta get the gold. Um, we haven't really talked about the expertise or the passives yet, which is... We are heading right down to that fight. Oh, it's already over. Really? Oh, she's that one. Oh. That second shot was kind of nice, though. Anyone else down here? No? Okay. Heal up with this. There we go. Intel. Normal Octo things get more intel. Head up. I did see someone for sure. It's a uh, Hans, maybe? It is a Hans, and they do be running. That's them there. Okay, well, if you're gonna run that way, I mean, I can just run this way. <laughs> We'll talk about our paths for next week. Probably in game two at this point, because we are just on the run. Um, anyone in front of us? Nope, but the Hans is kind of chasing us out. Which is good. They are tracking us nicely. We have to create a... Alright, shield down. Shoot. Oh my gosh. Alright, we almost lost... <laughs> Um, oh yeah, also this has a reload animation bug. Uh, if you happen to have the spyglass, you can fix it by doing that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I was gonna sit there. But, um... Yeah, if you don't have the spyglass, I don't know any other way to fix that bug. Where it, the reload and you just hold the gun wrong for like the rest of the game. I think it happens whenever you pick up a spy pack. Um, so, yeah, just be aware if you're playing Octo Weapon 3, that can happen. Um, but that was a pretty good showing of the weapon. We did land some nice shots against the Hanzo at the end. I said we almost lost due to, uh, well, I didn't really finish that sentence. But um, <laughs> basically, once you shoot the, the, the sniper shot, you have a cooldown before you can shoot again. Like, like it, you know, because it's a big shot. Um, it doesn't have the same fire rate as like everything else in Octo's kit. So, uh, it doesn't all, at the same time, it doesn't let you hip fire for that same amount of time. Um, so that's what happened there is I fired the sniper shot and then it wouldn't let me hip fire until that cooldown had ended. Kind of like a Sasori sword cooldown. Anyway, didn't actually cost us the victory. We only got two elims, but we played really well. Um, so we're going to go to a game two, see what happens, and I will see you guys there. All right, I believe this is our first time on Diamond Spire since the update. Well, I think that's easy to say. It's only our fourth game um, recorded, of course. I actually have played a little bit of Diamond Spire. Um, but, like, it's it's been good. Let's do this. I don't know if I've actually been on the roof. <laughs> they got all the tinted doors, tinted windows. Me running around like a crazy person. Uh, intel, intel, intel. Someone else running around like a crazy person. This is a player, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, my goodness. What the heck did I... I'm gonna get sliced and diced? 
All right, this weapon be weird. <laughs> I'll spend my intel somewhere else. Yeah, I am still trying to figure out how to best use this weapon because I explained it at the end of last game, but um, when you do that ADS shot, it has a bit of a cooldown before you can do any other shot. So it feels like I should just spam the ADS shot if I can. So maybe I should just do that until I run out of intel. <laughs> Um, Wait till they see what I can do with a mop. Oh, Doug's going in. Oh, Doug, slow down a little bit, buddy. You're not so uh, I'm gonna have to here. take all these guards out. Tinted windows mean no one knows, right? Actually, there's no windows in here. I just realized. So that door is two-way tinted. Um, kind of weird thing is the doors are two-way tinted. The windows are one-way. <laughs> Um, so the fact there's no windows in there means that no one could see me in there. Um, but I also can't see out. So. Might be worse for me overall, actually. I... Oh my gosh, we are we are definitely about to run up. <laughs> what did they disguise as? Doug, did they... Oh, they went in. Dang it. And if I bounce pad down there, they'll heal it. I think we just go all the way down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, am I just tracking someone from like the end of the, you know, the opposite side of the map? Oh jeez, get me up there. Oh, we don't have any key cards or anything. This might suck. We're gonna have to go and deploy like over here so that they maybe, maybe don't hear it. But like, they'll probably still hear it. More, I want more. Like an open book. 16 is enough to get through the door, but not enough to do anything with it. One of these dogs. This one? That one. Alright. Uh, they probably were in there, because they had a purple. I should check it. Uh, Octo, if you ever see this, I apologize for tracking you. F no, there's a, there's a bobblehead in here. Um. So yeah, if uh, Octo, if you ever see this, uh, I apologize for tracking you from across the map. Alright, uh, I just remembered we never did our expertise or passive, so let's talk expertise for a moment. Um. Expertise there, when we hit the button, anyone in our view with intel gets their intel drained and we gain, gain it. Um, and then if they're out of cover, they get exposed debuff, which keeps them out of cover. They can't regain cover while they're exposed. And then uh, they also get neutralized, preventing them from using their ability. So pretty good. Uh, pretty simple passive, but quite powerful. Um, I do want more intel. Sometimes there's some around here. No? None here either? Jeez. Oh, you... Yeah, I wasn't gonna, but like... If we die for some crumpled up paper, like, come on. Um... Right, and then our passive... Going all in. Okay. So our passive is every time we collect 10 intel, by any means, so even if it's via... Um... Okay, they moved more than I thought they would. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, that was it. Okay, well, that was kind of a short game. Um, I don't think we're going to do a game three. It should be long enough. <laughs> um, I don't think we saw the pack. No, we did. I got the package last game. All right, you know what? I think we're good. <laughs> um, so, that was a pretty good game. We showed off the thing. We never finished talking about our passive. Well, we did. I said for every 10 we gained, we can hold two more. That's the passive. It's really simple. That game was pretty good. Honestly, mixed feelings about this weapon, especially since the weapon one got buffed to do 23 damage. So, like, if you're not hitting the headshots on this, if you're hitting the headshots, you're getting 60 damage for two intel. Um, if, you know, you're only getting 34 for one intel, the weapon one will give you 23 for one intel and a bigger projectile you can't miss 
even though it moves a little slower. So there's some give and take, but I think overall my preference still goes to the weapon one between these two. Um, but uh, those are my thoughts. Feel free to put yours in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.